many of us just want a smooth transition when we're out doing deliveries because we want it to be an easy job. You get in your car, you can blast your music, talk on the phone and do whatever you want. But there are some factors when it comes to being a gig worker that simply are not easy and I want to try to give you some tips and tricks to make those things easier. For example, it's really hard to indicate to people that we're delivery drivers. You're going around, you're driving, you're parking somewhere, you're putting on your hazards or your four ways, saying that you're going to be in and out real quick, but that does not symbolize anything. Well, one of the tips that I do have for you is now you can just go ahead on my website on Etsy and buy these instead. Now, these are bumper stickers, and in no shape, way, or form are these to be used to park illegally. That is not the name of the game here. But if you want to indicate that you are a delivery driver, I've created two really smooth designs for fast parking, quick delivery, and frequent stop delivery drivers. And with these, at least you can indicate to people that you're a gig worker. But you can make it look nice and sleek because I know, because I'm the one that designed them, makes them, manufactures, and ships them. So not only are you supporting a small business, but now you can indicate that you're a delivery driver. Now another thing that you can do when it comes to being a gig worker and making your life so much more easier is, I've said it numerous times, just get yourself a delivery bag, my friend. If you get a delivery bag, your life will be so much easier because this way you can carry food. I have listed so many videos on so many occasions, the different hiccups that you can have by not having a delivery bag. So make your life easier by simply having one. Another way that you can make your life easier is simply having a separate flashlight. Now the ones that I recommend are the ones that are compatible on a keychain. Because yes, you can use your phone as a flashlight, but the problem is, is that you're on an app, you're using your phone dominantly for that drop off. So if you want to make your life just a lot more smoother and easier by having a pocket flashlight, you can see when you're on the go in the evenings and get things done a lot more smoother. Now, another one that I don't commonly use, but I do have, and this is for your safety first. A lot of people talk about insurance and insurance companies, what insurance do you go with and such. And long and behold, a lot of the insurance references are really not supported unless we have commercial insurance. I avoid the topic of insurance of a gig worker because there's no real right answer. But what I can say that can help justify actions, especially if somebody has crashed into you, is by getting yourself set up with a dash cam. I've used dash cams previously in my ride along videos just for the purpose of ride along videos. But to be honest, they're super user friendly and they help you stay safe. If you're not at fault for an accident and you need to prove that by having a dash cam at all times, it can help you out. And then when it comes to tax season, I know taxes is not everybody's favorite jam, but at least you can write it off at tax time and not have to worry about the fact that you even bought one. But by using a dash cam, you can put your safety first versus anything else and know that at least that you have it on camera. Another way that you can make things easier as a gig worker, it's a little bit more work, but it puts a lot more trust back into your hands, is take screenshots of the actual drop-off locations when you're doing a leave at the door. A lot of gig workers have done leave at the door and they've gotten it revoked back to them that, hey, we didn't receive the food, but you know you did it. If that's the case scenario and you're going to put on a dispute with Uber, if you have the address, just the address, not the street, but the unit or the house number, and you have the package showing dropped off, you can 100% back yourself up. It's annoying to do it, and I understand that, but it's a lot easier to have that stuff referenced in the background for yourself versus having to fight with these gig apps later on with no reference and no security. I've mentioned on my podcast how much I would love for these gig apps to turn around and have that as an automatic feature included in their apps, but I don't think they're gonna do it. So many delivery drivers already do that. And another thing that you can always do, and this is what a lot of people do, I've said it, you don't have to go above and beyond for the customers, but there's a lot of free things that you can get at the restaurants. Napkins, straws, ketchup, mustard, what may be, you name it. And what you can do is if you got them on the side, always start to take some, and then that way you can have a collection of it. In case you have a customer that asks for it in advance and you wanna fulfill that and make things easier, you can always just simply give them from your stash. It's free for you, convenient for them, and this way you might even get more of a little bit of a tip. Now, if you have any suggestions on how to make things easier for gig workers, 
go ahead and comment below, my lovelies. I want to read them and I want to know how do you think gig workers should do things to make things easier?